Hey everybody, welcome back to Observer. So I was just loading to the save file and boom, I love games that do this because like if you haven't played the game in a while, of course it's helpful, but even if you weren't entirely sure what was going on at the time, a little bit of a paragraph when you enter the save file to let you know what was happening is great. The Noack apartment turned out to be a veritable bloodbath, with the victim barely alive and unable to communicate, Dan makes a desperate attempt at neural integration. The mind of an addict is never easy to observe, especially one whose body is even more battered than his psyche. So that explains why everything we were witnessing was nuts. While I was playing through and commentating, you know, the whole time, I didn't know really what was going on. I just kind of pieced together that he was in prison. But after watching the footage back while editing, I was able to kind of like, okay, I, I see what's happening here where, you know, you see all the little hints of prison and how he probably got there because he was walking around to those doors and everyone was saying thanks to him so he was probably dropping off drugs as well as you know using them himself and then there was all the other prison imagery everywhere so we had just gone through that and i think we're still in his brain so things might still be a little crazy here yes okay because doors are closing on their own they typically don't do that um irl hmm that's covered in blood okay we can't go in there um so far i'm, I'm really interested to see how this game turns out after the first recording session i was like is this good i think i'm also just very you know i overthink everything so Oof. oh no it's one of these but i am excited to keep playing this game and see what happens okay try to stop me if i walk backwards it oh you, you did you, oh, wait hold on i was just going the wrong way oh my god i did it again yeah try to stop me now oh they did what what? What? Oh, we did it. We got into the right one. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, look at that. Yep. Definitely still in his brain. No doubt about it now. Is that a TV? Oh, it is going places. Is this now a parkour game? Why are you yelling, Pillar? What is it with the showers? We're just gonna follow the TV head. Strong enough to beat this thing. Okay, she's probably talking about his addiction there. I want, cause like right at the beginning there was also a shower with running water too, like when we enter the mine trip. Where my frames were dropping. Well, let's go to this one. There was a swan. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, this, this all makes plenty of sense now, you know. TV. I'm also very curious to see if other people's minds are going to be like this because the game's called observer right now we are observing someone's mind this is our job as a detective we go into people's brains and see what's going on so i wonder if other people's brains are going to be as scrambled as this guy's or if it's because he's an addict and he's dying if that's what's currently happening oh oh that's a lot of that's a lot of cans that's a lot of cans and there's things on the floor okay we'll go this way i guess What's going on over here? There we go. We still don't have any of our superpowers. Something's wrong. Oh my god, my wife's a goose! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So Dan is our character's name. Uh, turn it! It's so wonky! Turn. Get out of here! Ooh, get out of here. Oh, what on earth is... Oh, what is... We did it! Uh, 
So I was also wondering if we're going to be seeing... Hello interrogation oh, well, aborted. Subject expired during questioning. Emergency extraction procedure successful. Okay, so we know what happens if they are... If they die while we're inside, there's a safety feature for that. So that's pretty good. Um... I was also wondering, you know, or I was, I kind of noted that, like, the parallel between our character and this character, you know, we saw our wedding there after he was getting married in the tattoo shop, it went to a church and our character was there, and then, of course, we just heard the Dan, um, help, and everything was underwater, so I'm wondering if that was our thing. Is that Happy Face? Oh, no, <laughs> I saw the symbol, it's the same symbol as the save sign. Uh, I thought it was a happy face. I got a heal, which I think is this button. Boop. Yes. <laughs> injected. Strain level decreased. Hooray. Okay, so those are the things we're picking up. The synchrozine. Yep, there's some right there. Synchrozine refilled. Good. It's a mask. Well, you got your last fix. Hope it was worth it. Oh, it's the drug. Okay. So we can look at all this fun stuff now. Let's see. Blood. Homo sapien. O minus. O negative. <laughs> Traces of controlled substance. Yep, that's... That's the drug. Lousy ink. Probably got him in prison. Prison tattoos. Ethanol, soot, and water. Gang affiliation. What's this? 22 grams. Illegal sedative. Controlled substance. Okay. What's this? The cutting pattern matches the one from Oh, previous. same wound as the previous one. Laceration wound. Those are all his guts. Intestinal damage, life-threatening severity, no match found for the weapon. We looked at his blood. What is this? This Some is hair. looking hair. Not human. Not animal. Th what alien? It's not synth. I guess it could be synthetic. <laughs> what do we got here? The voice box implant. Not uncommon among long-time feed addicts. Oh, voice box. Okay. What's this? It's the only thing that was giving him life. Artificial heart valve. Okay, because of his addiction, he had a voice box implant and a heart valve implant. Interesting. Okay. What is this? What happened here? <laughs> I can't tell if this is all blood or this is just... Hold on, the water actually does look clean. It's hard to tell if that's like bloody water or because there's some spots where it's like uh, there's no blood behind it. I heart you. Oh, I heart you too, pillow. Jesus. <laughs> Apparently I don't. <laughs> um do this camera. What's this? Well then. You must be uh -huh. huh. What else are we hiding in here? That must have been Helena. Can I open these? Nope. Ignore. Oh, we got blood here. Apparently that's not important, blood. I don't think we have any more biological stuff, so I think we're going to stick to scientific stuff. There's a computer. Probably going to have to look at that. Is that the janitor? No. Looks like I'm a little bit, but... Uh, may I, I don't think... Maybe. No. I think my character would have said something like, hey, it's Janice. <gasps> Nanophage and I. Here's another one. These books. This one has drawing on it. They're everywhere. All right, let's get the computer. Mail. Um, see, I don't know if I want to start the top or the bottom. It's showing again. First off, as your attending tattoo artist, I must advise you to stop sending me these messages. If you think you have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece of your neck was healing up fine. The piece on your neck was healing up just fine last time I saw it. The accelerant worked, and if it is, and if it really is, as you claim, getting messy, it's most likely has something to do with your incessant scratching and tampering. For the last time, leave it alone. Drop for a checkup if you want, but do not bore me with your 
petty anxieties. I'm not a psychologist. Okay. Corrupted data. Last batch you brought in was particularly corrupted. I've managed to salvage most of it, but like I said before, you have to give me the decryption tool. More breakthrough, blah, 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 scrambler, blah, 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 okay. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The software is undetectable. The only way you're getting caught is if someone catches you physically interacting with the workstation. I know you're scared, and I am well aware of the risk of the situation puts you in, but uh, that is precisely why I'm, what I'm paying you for. Okay, so he was doing some hacking. He's a computer hacker. Look at this guy. Wait, hacking? My cop car got hacked into, and then I heard my son. Hmm... Sorry, Hella. I don't know. I know we go back a ways, but I can't really help you this time. I really wish I could, but even putting aside Amir's ongoing health issues, the higher ups have enforced a strict hiring policy. No C class citizens, especially no ex cons. I know Amir's not a bad guy and he deserves another shot, but there's really no way I can get these S9 around these S9 regulations. Again, I'm sorry. If there's any other way I can help, let me know. Work with Chiron, okay. Comments, document, not comments, documents. Amir, so that's Amir. Um, he was born on a day. Up, oh, 2052, look at that. That's when he was born and he was in his 20s or 30s, so. 2080, I think we're in the 2080s, I think. 2084 came to mind. Um, I had someone ask me somewhere what the time period was. I think it was during a live stream. Um, strength. Team player can work well. to see me. Can work well with others, even if they're not like me. I don't care as long as I get the job done. Human resource management can tell if someone's the right man for the job or just talking big. <laughs> so he's literally saying like, "Hey, I can hire people. Hire me. I can tell if people are good. Can make problems go away for good. Resilient to extreme stress. Can work hard when things get rough." Twenty sixty nine. Nice. Okay, I don't care. <gasps> spider with swords! <gasps> Level 3's unlocked! We're doing it! Bloody spiders again. Oh my god, where are we? Okay, we're here. We're gonna collect this. So we have to get this guy. Oh my god, this is gonna be nuts. Okay. So we go this way. We grab this sword. Kill him. Okay, and we come up here. Grab this coin. Come up here. Bring him down here. Come up here. Go up here. Uh-oh. Hold on. We ain't out of the woods yet. Grab this sword. Come up here. We got them both, okay? I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this guy, though. Okay, we'll murder them. Grab that. And then we'll trick this guy. We just gotta loop around down here. And then we save the princess. Easy! You made it. Nice. Level 3 done. I'm so good at this game. Alright, turn that thing off. Where am I going now? We didn't really discover anything new there. Except for that new level of spider sword. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. We beat the game. Wait, I can actually leave? Wait, I can actually leave? Did I find everything? I feel like I didn't find everything, but uh, I think I did find everything. There's not much. Wait. Oh, no, it's the nanophage book. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Alright, let's get the hell out. So that was room 104. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing a lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Maybe the neighbors know something. Maybe. But there was also another room. It was 104 and... God, I forget the other one. Is there a way I can see my notes? Okay, well, apparently the other room doesn't matter because it's not a thing anymore, so we can talk to more people or we can find Helena. And it says the tattoo shop is where to go for that. So, I guess we can try to talk to people. I don't like talking to people. They talk so slow. <laughs> KPD, I'd like to have a word. Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, the couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise mm. while back. More than usual, I mean. Mm. The girl ran off, and it got quiet. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop. But, judging by the footsteps, 
I'd say she ran down to probably the to the tattoo parlor. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy though. Uh, domestic violence. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And then again, ain't we all? What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night. Uh -huh. Carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn I knew boss, it, man. Because I went through his memories and I saw it. <laughs> what about the girl? Oh, she she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, mm. but yeah, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. It'd be very helpful. Hmm. Ah, 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 that's new. Animals. Aminals. Oh, boy. Hey, PD. I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. Hmm. You mean these people get violent with each other? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure about violence. Mostly just arguing, I guess. Today was worse than usual. That's probably why she ran out. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. I see. I got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting too, moaning like the whore she is. You did, huh? Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Uh, Always toying with me, uh, bending uh, over when uh, reaching for the lock. All naked underneath her clothes. Um, she knows I'm watching too. She likes to make me itch. But, Cooped uh, up with that junky uh, meathead. I mean, what does he have that um, I don't? A no, guy, like that, calm, you know? fucking mongoloid uh, bitch. Calm, no, I hope calm. She gets where she fucking deserves. Just calm so down. She knows she's fucked up. My she dude. No choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Jesus! That's enough. Okay, I guess the picture. Thanks for your input. Oh, uh, I... Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the only downside about, like, not wanting to talk to these people. I miss great thrilling conversations like that. Okay, they're not home. So the courtyard, why not? Oh wait, what is this? Is this the television? Oh, it's another card. Did I already see this one? Ready for disposal. Free stuff. Okay, um, is this the way out? I gotta find out how to get down to the courtyard. Also, wasn't there another room I had to check? Whoop. There's a lot to explore and I feel like I'm not exploring enough. Can I climb in here? Okay, that was kind of terrifying. I just heard a bunch of footsteps that weren't mine. I think it might have been me glitching out that thing, but still it was creepy. Hey, look, another thing. 
It's really far away. Well, I stole it anyway. <laughs> Mine. All right, we gotta get down to this uh, tattoo shop and I can't hop over the railing. So, wait, what's over here? Oh, wait. What the? Oh, this is a different room. What the hell? Where the hell am I? I didn't realize I was going through a freaking maze. But this, everything's a dump. You can at least clean up the freaking rubble. You have random holes everywhere. I think we have been here before. I remember seeing this thing. This, wait, we saw this in the dream. We saw this in the dream. I think he was selling to these people. Also, I really need a map. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? Uh, you can stop. You can start by being less creepy. You can start by stopping being creepy. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little... Uh, okay, so they're crazy. Got it. Clean. Oh. You're immaculates. Children of the immaculate birth, yes. Crazies. You've heard of us. Yeah, you're crazy. All good things, I hope. No, nah, crazy. I've actually heard nothing of them, but they just sound absolutely crazy. Depends on who you're talking to. The <laughs> seems to be crazy, but harmless. <laughs> I see. Oh, man. And what is your own impression? So crazy. Far? Well, you're probably the least crazy person I've met today. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm not know. saying much. Okay, to make a long story short, apparently those people, their crazy religion, uh, they don't have any implants. So, you know, not completely crazy, but kind of crazy. You know, not having implants, I don't think that's crazy. I think that's, you know, normal. But the way he talked, he seemed crazy. Um, I remember this table. I saw this table in the crazy man's dreams. Okay, so I'm literally just traveling. Out of here. Excuse me? Oh, great. My mind's going. Um, I've just been traveling around this... This place what the hell is that oh it's the it's it's a robot he fell over poor little guy hmm i wonder what the big creepy thing was in that guy's dreams let's go to the tattoo parlor before i get lost even more so than i already am hmm, that's creepy Okay, yeah, I know, that's still creepy. Hey, we found our way outside. I don't know where we were two seconds ago when we were in the basement. But we're back outside. Ooh, what's this? Some statue? Okay. Hello, tattoo parlor. I'm here to get married. Case log update. Let's see what we got. Oh, look, another nanophage and I book with some right drawings on the back. Oh my god, my frames. Oh my god, there's a titty on the table. 